Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Stardew Valley The Lazy Farmer Build, episode 160. So today, you know what, I'm going to mix things up a little bit. I'm going to do something a bit different than uh, has been sort of my normal routine in order to stave off any sort of boredom or any sort of uh, getting stuck in a rut. Um, we have a little bit of uh, unfinished business that um, we've well previously been wait relying on the uh, um, the rare goods vendor, uh, the the uh, the smuggler, if you will, um, and that is our quests here. Now we still have to bring a crocus to Sam. We can do that, um, and I'm dubious about finishing this because I probably cut down my apricot tree. Probably shouldn't have, but I did. So we're going to rely on the vendor for that. Um, but we have this, an albacore. Albacores um, can be caught in the ocean in the fall and winter. It's winter. We have a couple of days left. Let's go get us an albacore. They can be found in the early morning. So let's go do that right now. After we give family kisses and all that good stuff. Jasper... Where you hiding? There you are. Oh, you wait. You're ready for breakfast, huh? Don't blame you. Don't blame you one bit. But of course, doing that will involve. Oh, hi there. Tomorrow is the feast of the winter star. Hmm. Well, maybe it will pull up something that Elliot likes. Uh, let's see. Where is our fishing accoutrement? Seriously, where is our fishing stuff? Is it even indoors? Not there. Not here? No. Where the heck did I leave my fishing pole? Oh, I have it. Derp de derp. Right then. Let's uh, let's take the quick uh, transport here. Sorry, Rarity. Well, not so much sorry. You get you get a break for the day. Now, some of you, uh, and this is uh, this will apply. This may be a little bit late to give this kind of advice. Um, I'm going to reiterate my fishing lesson here, because uh, a lot of people who are watching this series for the very first time are. Um, are, are, um, they're, they're saying that you know that they do lots of fishing in the early game is all well and good, but I as a player stink, not a herring, uh, as at, at fishing. So let me just reiterate some of my fishing tips. And this is more for the early game than the late game, obviously, uh, being that I haven't gone fishing in ages. Uh, obviously, the deeper the water, the higher the quality of the fish. In this case... Um, our, uh, our fish, we're going after a specific type of fish rather than a specific star level. We're not, ooh, oh, oi mariner, red mullet, interesting. I guess I, uh, I guess I never gone fishing in the winter time in the ocean. Uh, now if we don't get it in the morning time, we will have a chance to get it at night. Now the um, now as far as the um, the technique goes, again I reiterate that what you want to do is to pulse. Do not do not hold down. Pulse, pulse. You hear every, hear that? Every time you hear, that's me tapping on the mouse. Uh, I am not I am not holding the mouse down harshly for any length of time. Um, that's because when you do that, you get rather uh, uh, well, extended movements. I'm going to go after this treasure chest. Uh, and then when obviously you want your thing to go down, just stop with the tapping. A little bottom feeder here. And a herring for use of cutting down trees. I'll give it to like 10. Maybe I should get on the docks to go fishing. Get some higher quality fish while I'm at it. And a halibut, just for the halibut. Yeah. 
yeah, I might need to wait till nighttime to get my uh, to get my albacore here, but I will get my albacore. Gosh darn it! Or some seaweed. <laughs> Whoa, that was a quick one. Now I could be using some lures here since I've got such a high level of uh, fishing, but I'm choosing not. Sardine, nope. I'm choosing not to, um, just because, I mean, you don't really need it. Uh, most of the fish I'm going after here are not the monstrously difficult ones. I'm not. I'm interested in the fish, not the treasure. Um, so there's not a lot of these that we need. Ooh, a red mullet. A, a new record of a, a red mullet. Um, so I don't really need to, cause that, not to mention that they're kind of disposable. Uh, the, uh, the the fishing lures here, so I'm not going to go out of my way to take money and materials to craft them when they're just going to get fall apart. Meanwhile, the bait has been plentiful. Ooh, mega halibut. All right, it's 10:10. It is well past the late morning stage, so I am probably not going to be getting ourselves an albacore this morning. Um, but that being said. We have some other things that we can grab while we're here. Any other? Oh, we got some wormage. We got some wormage and some seedage. All right, whatever. We. Okay. Uh, how are we on relationships? Um. All right, Jazz needs another gift. Krobus needs another gift. Vincent needs another gift, and this time maybe a real one. Uh, Kent and the Dwarf. So we've got we've got some gift given rounds. I think that's a good way to uh, spend our day while we wait for the appointed hour of quote unquote late night. Uh, and these guys, I'm just gonna sell. Just in case they're worth anything. Ooh, I could um, go drop that off to Gunther. Get that out of my inventory. Crack this Omni Geode open since I know giving that to uh, Vincent is not a thing. Uh, so yeah, we've got some we got some goodies to take care of today. We can be. Uh, do I still have my? I don't have. Oh, I do have my gifts. Good. I do. I don't. No, but I don't need. Uh, I don't need Willie's gift because we're maxed out with him. Oh, uh, I need a, uh, what's it? The crocus. I need a crocus for, uh, for Sam. That is a necessary thing. Because I do want to start doing more of those, those, uh, billboard quests. So that, uh, these are crocuses. Oh, did I sell all of them? Did I effing sell all of them? I probably sold all of them. No. I couldn't have sold all of them. Because I was saving them for Sandy. Not in my inventory. They're not in there. Oh, I put them in here. Yeah. It's about to say. It's like, I know I didn't liquidate them. I've done that before. I've learned my lesson. All right. Uh, so Sam plus our other usual suspects. Which is usually this part of the town. I wonder why, like, all of the people I need to to still befriend are still all concentrated down here. It's like I ignored this part of the town subconsciously. You, my friend, may have some void mail. Alright, Sam, you're going to be doing, like, kickflips in the snow? I've seen you do that before. Oh, do I need Haley? I think I got Haley uh, up to eight hearts. Haley, yep, Haley's at eight hearts, so I do not need to visit this house any further. Sorry, hippie girl. Kent! Kent needs a coffee. Oh. Yeah, your house is a little dark, I just noticed, because my 
my light is shining on. Why why is the house dark, Ken? Let's see, it's Wednesday, so no jazzercise. Just gotta track everybody else down. Sam? Maybe they're going, maybe they're shop. No, wait, Pierre's is closed on Wednesday. Never mind. Let's see, maybe they're shopping there. Nope, nope, they're not. Nope. Don't need you, Haley. Do not need. Ooh, crystal fruit. I will stop for crystal fruit. Yes, more coffee. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we'll at the very least go see the dwarf while we're up here. Coffee, 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 coffee. Coffee. Okay, good. Phew. I do have one more emerald. All right, uh, Jazz and Vincent are, are, are others. I should check the shul. And actually, if I'm going to go check the shul, I should have taken the mine teleport. So let me go do that. Probably faster than running. Ooh, more, uh, more crystal fruit up there. Very nice. Oh, yeah, we also got to turn this into Gunther. Donate. Uh, game. 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 Ah. Oh. Phew, I thought that thing was stuck for a second there. Jeebus criminy, you scared me for a minute there, game. Yeesh. You're feeling morose, eh? What does morose have to say about that? Aha! Yonder children, I have things for you, such as lollipops and sashimi. Sorry about the uh, misunderstanding there, Vincent. I had some bad info. Process geodes. Ooh, what is that? Granite. Nah, eh, probably not. Rusty spoon. Lovely. Alrighty. Oh no, I ran out of coffee. Oh yeah, I left her behind. Sorry, Rarity. Okay, let's uh, well let's deposit some of our syllables in here, namely the granite. But hold on to this Nautilus shell. I, I some part of me. Uh, remembers that or thinks that Elliot's that I might do a little uh, a little wiki checking on that just to be certain just to be certain oh yeah I need to also manufacture a couple of scarecrows but I think it is time for us to return to the sea from whence we came Iridium rod. Outformed. Yes, I know it's not technically the quote unquote nighttime, but I figure if I start uh, fishing now, eventually it'll go into whatever time is considered nighttime, and I will have my chances of catching the albacore. I never did find Sam. I might have to hit up the uh, the saloon uh, to try and bump into him. Although I don't know if he shows up on Wednesday. Actually, let me go try and track him down now. I do want to get more of those those message board quests complete. Let's 
Sam. Sam. Ooh. Worms are plenty. Sam. You are not Sam. You are not Sam. That's a good idea. God, everybody's migrating. It's the mass migration. But where? Where is Sam? I have a flower for him. That's not where. That's not Sam's house. There you are, buddy. You work at Jojo Mart, Sam? Well, all right. 180 gold. Oh, yeah. Cash money in the bank. How you doing, Vincent? <laughs> Weigh in your options, kid. Weigh in your options. All right. So, yes, now it is. Now we're getting into nighttime proper. And let's get some coffee proper. Because I have a feeling it's going to be a late night, depending on how the fish RNG decides to treat me. I don't need no rarity. I've got my own four legs. Two of them supplied by coffee. Yeah, pretty sure this counts as nighttime. And nighttime is the right time to catch an albacore. Whoop! That's a hell of it. Whoa! It's a quick one. Now I don't know if the albacore is like one of those tricky fish, like where it's a bit harder than usual. Or apparently not. No, it's not a tricky fish. You want an albacore? You get an albacore, Mr. Gus. Alright, so it's not gonna be a late night. <laughs> Well, let's go turn this in the gust. The uh, saloon should still be open. And that will finish off another one of our... Uh, another one of our uh, static quests here. Need a drink? Nope, I need to turn in a quest. Do, 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 do. You even get a gold one. Yes. Although I have a feeling you're not going to be paying me a million, even though you're thanking me a million. All right. That's all that's left is uh, fresh fruit. Which, unless we get... I mean, we might get lucky with the rare goods vendor on uh, Friday or Sunday. Although I have a feeling Sunday's going to be a flip day. But we might get lucky on Friday um, and have them selling an apricot, which I could then buy and then turn in for uh, a handsome reward. And by handsome, I mean probably not more than what I paid for the darn thing. But we shall see. Um, yeah, we'll just nix those. Sell you, sell you. Meh, sell you. And to bed we go. You can't be pregnant again. <laughs> Yeah, the game is capped at two kids, so yeah, that's definitely gaining weight, Maru. Oh, hi, Santa! <laughs> Little bit late uh, in terms of real life, but how's it going, buddy? Be sure to bring our kids lots of presents. Speaking of, I still am not entirely sure. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna take a gamble. I'm. I'm not looking at the, uh, at the at the wiki here. I should. I'm not though, because that's how I roll. I'm lazy. Wait, right, did we miss any birthdays? Nope. Oh, we got. We got. We got Mr. Clint's birthday. I think he likes iridium bars. I'll toss him one. Not. Not literally. That. Uh, that. Uh, that. That. That would be un. Unbirthday like 
Unbirthday like? Aha! I knew you're hiding behind the TV, you little scamp. This is. That seems to be a. Farrah must have touched you that hiding spot. Alright. Did I pick up the kitty stuff? I did. Alright, before the festival begins, I'll probably. Oh, thank you, Gus. Maybe I'll give uh, maybe I'll give him spaghetti. Maybe he likes spaghetti. He might like spaghetti. That might be a good gift. Have some spaghetti. I mean, it is after all a culture of regifting. Oh boy, all these are starting to come up. More clay. I don't know why I didn't take rarity up here, but I didn't deal with it. Deal with it. Uh, yeah, put these things away. Maybe he likes diamonds, too. Or maybe they like spaghetti. Who knows? I know the wakey knows. Hmm. Will I... So we got the Nautilus shell, a diamond, and the spaghetti as the possible gifts I might give him. I mean, the Nautilus shell is nice, but, I mean, he could just pick that up outside his front door. And usually the way this game swings it is that characters that have access to stuff right outside their front door generally don't appreciate that as gifts. Like, Clint doesn't like, uh, like, copper and iron and even gold ore. Because uh, he's, like, knee-deep in the stuff anyway. But, um, so that might, that might hold true for Elliot, but pasta, that could be a little bit different. And diamonds to him might be a little bit different. Or what the hey, maybe I'll dig up, uh, I'll, I'll uh, go grab that one of those um, rainbow shells. He might like a rainbow shell. Because those things are kind of rare. And he seems like a rainbow shell type of guy. Not inferring anything, just 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 calling it like I see it. Well, let's give him a uh, a uh, iridium quality rainbow shell. Yes, that is my final answer. The final answer is none of the above. And somebody, I, what what did I get last time? I got I got uh, Robin, and she gave me like twenty uh, like or fifty stone or something like that. All right, folks, let's see if we uh, strike a hit or strike out during the Feast of Winter Veil. Vale. Yeah, forget your worries, like being seen in public together because you two are obsessed of with scandal that doesn't really exist. Oh, Pam, carrying a grudge. Up. Oh sure. Oh, or I said, or no thanks. Well, I did. Uh, I did kind of hear it last year. Well, I think I will. Jeez, Maru. Boy, his family is not entirely sure they want to be held together at the. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the uh, this family a uh, little a uh, little strained at the, at the holidays. Oh. Happy feasting! Oh, I will be. Well, not really, cause I can't. They don't have the animations for the anime shoving food into your face, comically. And we're back. Yeah, um, I suddenly ran out of recording space in my. <laughs> On my recording drive and you know, things like recording saved. I'm like, I didn't tell you to stop. Um, but no, I had run out of space. Remember to keep your drives uh, clean when you're recording, folks, if you're a uh, aspiring YouTuber. Yes. Let's see. Well, I don't know if I uh, struck a major hit with that one. Hey, 
hey, Vincent's got me something. What you got for me, buddy? Hopefully uh, not an Omni Geode that I gave you. What you got for me, kid? A frozen geode! Yes! Not even an Omni Geode, a frozen geode. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Vincent. I'm sorry, kid. <laughs> uh, well, we probably didn't strike a, uh, a hit with Elliot, but that's okay. We're already maxed with him anyway. What are you hoping to find? Oh, not a new watering can. Um, some spiced mead would not be bad. Stylish bush boots wouldn't be bad either. Hmm. You know what? Some nice. Well, you know what? I think I asked for boots last time. We're gonna go with the mead. Okay. A little backhanded gift there. Okay, Scrooge, whatever. All right, it is time we head home. It was fun while it lasted. And at least Elliot didn't, uh, um, didn't go reeling at the gift, and we didn't get complete garbage. Although, I mean, we could refine it into, like, five stone anyway, so who knows? Who knows? All right, um... Sell you, sell you. Not selling the crocuses. Is, 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 is. And yeah, we'll 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 process the geo. See what kind of goodie they have for us. All right, for oh, hang on, not quite done yet. We've got a bunch of crystal fruits too. Plenty of flip fodder for these things. Ooh, starfruit wine. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, yep. Three starfruit wines and a crystal fruit wine. Let's see how well those sell. All right, folks. Well, if you guys... What are you doing up, young lady? What? And you're... you're yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback, holy crap, is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.